So I'm Debbie Sterling and I'm the founder and CEO of Goldie Blocks. And Goldie Blocks is a children's toy and media company out to inspire girls to get interested in engineering and technology. Hi, my name is Debbie. I'm an engineer from Stanford, and I was always bothered by how few women there were in my program, so I've decided to do something about it. I'm starting a toy company called Goldie Blocks to get little girls to love engineering as much as I do. So, where did you get the idea to make Goldie Blocks that blend of engineering and almost art for yourself? So. One day I had a conversation with a girlfriend and she and I were complaining about how few women there are in engineering. And she said, well, I got interested as a little girl growing up with my older brother's construction toys. I thought back to my childhood and growing up, I thought that construction toys were for boys. Whereas Handy Manny, Bob the Builder, Thomas the Train, and you know, girls played with princesses, boys were the ones building it made me realize that maybe that's a reason why so few girls grow up even considering it like me. I became so obsessed with this idea. It was all I could think about, all I could talk about, and it got to the point where it took over my life. And I knew it was what I was born to do. And so I quit my job and set out to come up with an engineering toy that would actually appeal to girls the way that construction toys for so long have appealed to boys. When I first became obsessed with this idea, most people would say, wow, what a great idea. How does this not exist yet? Go for it. But other people would say, great idea, but did it ever occur to you that maybe there's a reason why you know, boys are inclined toward building and girls are inclined toward dolls. Maybe this is an uphill battle that you won't win. So I picked up every piece of research I possibly could on this issue. Gender differences, cognitive development in children, I talked to neuroscientists, I met with teachers, pediatricians. The first thing I learned is there's absolutely no male advantage to science or engineering or math at all. It's irritating how much people continue to propagate that stereotype because it is not true. What I identified was the lack of role models. Most kids, if you ask them to draw a picture of scientists, they draw a white male. And so we need to dispel that myth and shatter those stereotypes, for, especially for young girls. While I was in high school, my favorite teacher was my math teacher, and she said, I think you should try engineering. We signed up for a class, and it just rocked my world. I loved it chose it as a major. Right out the gate, as soon as I told my mom, for example, who's always been so wonderful and so supportive, she was so surprised. And she said, why would you want to do that? You know, that doesn't sound fun at all. You know, why don't you just do English? Why don't you just do something easier? And when they said that to me, it made me feel like, oh, well, do you think I'm not smart enough? Spent four years being one of the only girls in my classes always being treated poorly by my male classmates and teachers and almost dropped out again and again. But I stuck with it because I loved the idea that with an engineering degree, it really gives you kind of the skills to make your dreams and your ideas a reality. When I graduated, I was so proud because I had, I had done the hard thing and I had stuck with it and and it made me feel like I was capable of doing anything. I realized that about myself, that I'm a role model, and I don't know if all of you know that you're role models, but you are. Just like that one day when that math teacher told me, you should try engineering, think you'd be good at it, that's all it took. One piece of advice from one woman who I respected put me on a path that changed my life. Years later, I built a really successful company that was entirely based on my unique perspective on engineering. That was laughed at when I was in college and it was honestly laughed at by the toy industry. And yet I stuck with my intuition anyway and it became wildly successful. But you know, one day I dream for this to be global. I dream for this to be as ubiquitous as Barbie because I know the influence that big pop culture iconic brands like that have on generations and so my dream for this is so big. You know, I feel like we've, we've barely scratched the surface. 